Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, I hope all is well. You're learning and embracing new parts of aspects of yourself. Just embracing everything that's trying to come towards your way in a higher vibration. So with that being said, much love love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. And if you also feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you really truly feel like a loved one, family, or friend, or even a current um, a fellow empath really needs to hear at this time if they're going through different dark times and need validation or confirmation please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support it is so greatly appreciated and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and let me see oh this beautiful meditation music that I'm listening to in the back background is called 582 Hertz open your third eye raise your energy vibration activate open balance uh, brow chakra and I will post that link in the description box below and today ooh child let me take a drink on this one like my mama say universe got me on some some deep stuff for y'all today I was reading up on one thing and then got a hold of another. And I'm like, what the what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas. The next evolutionary empath. Chad. If you ever knew. <laughs> I had to write some of this stuff down because it was like, it had me floored, y'all. I had to take a back for real. I'm like, what? Okay. Evolutionary empaths and this this guy Hayoka written all over it we're rule breakers we know and believe things uh believe in things before they are popular and accepted life experiences have prepared you for this role you have been called a black sheep a weirdo the one cast out judged misunderstood real ridiculed by family placed in certain families not to be taught by them but for you to teach them them to be taught by you basically breaking the mold of your family friends workplace societies they they are they try to put you in you are placed in certain situations around certain people just to break the mold altogether you are the prototype of the phase of the human revolution. We, we uh, contribute a higher vibration to the collectives. Y'all, I mean, we, we, we always trying to figure out. See, I, that's a forehead scratcher like that. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, that, that, that answers a lot of the reasons why we go through the things that we go through. And I just told y'all this about a few probably last week or probably two weeks ago that we are we we planned this this whole time and it's like we that's what we were put here for because we're going to be we're we're basically initiating for the next generations of humans because it's like we've been placed in these families to be able for them to learn off of us even though we've been put down or they probably looked upon us in a lower level it's because they 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 always thought there was something about us that was kind of strange or you know people probably looked at you like they got this weird off standoffish attitude towards you or whatever you always trying to wonder why we attract narcissism um, narcissistic people why do we attract sociopaths why do we attract psychopaths like you wonder why what the hell do I got you know 
negativity, negativity, you know, negative people come this way. <laughs> you got a big caution sign. Up. This is the reason why, because it, it's like we're breaking everything. We're rule breakers. We're not supposed to follow by rules. I, at least I don't. I hate rules. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I'm doing this for a job, because they don't really have too many rules about things, even though they do stuff half-assed. But I like what I do. I love what I do. I embrace it. And it was just like, we had to go through the situations we had to go through. You had to go through the abuse. You had to go through the misuse. We had to go through all these different, you know, abuse abuse labels and stuff like that we don't like being labeled we don't like being put in a box because we weren't meant to fit in we weren't we were meant to stand out we're in these crazy families because we were supposed to teach them how to heal from these generational curses because their parents and the parents parents and the parents parents um, put them through so much junk and they try to push it on us and we're able to push that mess back like oh no not today and not tomorrow and next year either so you had to basically go through all these different things because you are the next revolutionary empath. Like, I'm like, God, dog, that's like like Star Wars type V is the final battle or whatever. Mixed up with the 300. I don't even know. I didn't even watch 300, but that's the only thing that popped up in my head. Like, I can't even describe all this stuff that we're Judge Dredd. It kind of reminds me of that with Sylvester Stallone. All that stuff wrapped into one. We had to go through the things we had to go through. We had to experience the things we had to be able to experience so we can be able to break that curse. So we can be able to break the cycle. You know, not doing the same things that our forefathers has taught the other folks. Like, we pick, it's like we were looking at the world from whatever galaxy or dimension we were in. Like, hmm, you see Butthead and this one over here? We'll take that. <laughs> you said you see this crazy, this crazy life they got? We'll take that. That's what we're doing because we, we have to break the mold on everything, you know. But even though we get judged and ridiculed for the things we do and how we act and the things that we project out, you know, it wasn't meant for us to be, you know, you, we can teach a lot of people by the things we have been through. We can teach a lot of people of survival from being in dark places that we were. You know, we went to the sinking place dealing with all type of different things. And it's just like, you you know, when you tell your story towards people, your life story, and you never know, what, like I told y'all before, you never know what, if that key is going to open that prison up for somebody else, because they're probably scared to tell people what they went through. They're probably ashamed of the things they, they've been through, because they were programmed to say, you know, if somebody finds out about this and this and that, how are they going to think about you? How are they going to take, take you? You know, so you got this fear-based attitude that if somebody finds out who I truly am, I'm going to be really ridiculed for it. My family used to tell me that, because I used to get in trouble all the time. You know, just, you know, doing little gangster stuff. You know what I'm saying? Breaking into houses. Doing little, st you know, running away. You know, doing all little crazy stuff. Now, this is way in my teens, y'all. I ain't doing nothing like that recently. I ain't pulling on Cardi B or nothing like that. This is back when I was like 13, 14 years old. You know, doing stupid stuff. Writing bounce checks and all that junk. I said, everybody got a past. Yes, I did dumb stuff like that. You know, who hasn't done dumb stuff? You know, I mean, we, we were up in somebody's house, you know, I'm sitting up here following the leader or the leader following me. And we went in somebody's house and we got shot at. And I'm laughing because, you know, I was whizzing through the daggone bullets and stuff like that and thought it was funny. And I'm just like, now I will not even be tempted to do no stuff like that. It was just me hanging around with the bad crowd you know doing all the stuff they did because I thought it was cool you know I was an adrenaline junkie back in the day so it's like yeah I can admit I did all these stupid things but my stupid things has got me to where I am today me being open about the mistakes I made yes I made these different mistakes yes I have and I had to pay my debts to society for doing those things back in the day so it was just like I went to juvie I went to the psychiatric places and they had me all with all these crazy labels and stuff like that and really not understanding why I went through these things well I knew why I did it because after I found out I was adopted and stuff like that I'm like you're not my mom you're not my dad I don't care you know whatever you know so I did all these different things but just for the things that I'm doing 
it's helping so many people. It's helping y'all in ways that you, you know, you had to be able to see for yourself. You know, you're a gifted, important person to the people in your lives, to the world. You know, we're, we're starting a, a new revolution for the next world order, it seems like. So it, it's just like going through all these things. There was a reason for going through all these things. And I'm just like, man, that, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Because we're always casted out as the black sheep. You know, and what I always, I always seen a post. Anybody who's labeled the black, black sheep of the family is the main one telling the truth. Hello. So, <laughs> you know, now you know the reason why you had to go through the things you went through. Why did you have to suffer so hard? Because when you open up and tell people about the things that you have done, the things you have survived from, and things that you have conquered in ways you never thought you were, and it made you 10 times stronger than you ever imagined you could be, you know what that could do for the world. We got so much crazy stuff going on around here. They need us. That's the reason why. And I said, now I see why y'all are so hard on me. Universe, I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all are so hard on me about putting all these videos out. You know, spread awareness. Give the alert to the people. They listen to you. You know, every, you know, this, our family is growing stronger. I mean, faster than I ever thought it was. Once I got over that thousand, I mean, people are just been subbing to me almost every day. And I'm just like, wow. You know, there's so many people trying to figure out why they do the things they do, why they are the way they are, why are we affected the way we are affected, you know, why are people, you know, so hard on me, you know, because when people see that you, you are that one that don't, you follow the beat to your own drum, you know, it took me a while to do that, because, you know, I did it, but then I, you know, it was like a, I would follow behind somebody, but then I would do something else, but that was in my you know my young teen years and then when I finally started getting older I was a beat of my own drum just because you jumped off a bridge don't mean I'm gonna jump off with you before then I'm like hey yeah let's go you know long as we you know long as we can be able to get th through this without hurting ourselves come on let's go no I don't pull that dangerous stuff no more I was like shoot I, that was my stupid time so you know going through all these different things that I went through and experiencing the things I experienced has been a, a it's been a hell of a ride put it that way but it has helped me embrace my dark side it's helped me embrace things I didn't think I was going to be able to embrace you know my family told me I would be embarrassed if anybody ever found out the things that I did she's like what if you what if you thought you were gonna what if you were gonna be famous would you want anybody to find out what you did and I'm just like why would I care they say like, you need to care about something why would I care though why would I care what other people think of me you know, you wanted me, you know, they wanted me to feel that way. And I always wonder, how did you know I was going to be famous? How would you think I was going to be famous? Why would you even think that? Why would you even say that to me? And I, uh, now I know why. Because they knew who my father was and they knew they were going to be so embarrassed if anything that I did got out. You know, because that puts them in a bad light. Everybody's supposed to think that they were, you know, Stepford family, like everything was perfect. But, you know, I'm glad I embraced my bad side you know I embrace the things that I went through and I'm not ashamed because these things are something I used to do I'll be breaking laws around here I ain't got time police now sit up here the color of my skin I might end up coming up with with, with a hole in the dome I ain't got time for that they, they, mm -mm. so you keep doing you you keep you know embracing yourself because I mean we, we, we got a heavy job ahead of us so you know I mean they got me on some really deep stuff right now y'all I thought I was deep last week they got me going deep like very white deep so I hope you were able to and I don't even well I hope you will be able to resonate because I know a lot of y'all are because y'all were some bad asses back in the day too so <laughs> much love to you giving a post notification shout out to Neil 50 uh, 511, uh, Paul, uh, Power, Sydney Ann, and, um, Tammy Zawalski. Much love to y'all, and I'll see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and I love y'all every day. And I'll pray for y'all every day as well, so I'll see you on my next video. Peace, and be wild.